Hello, hello. Oh, well, let me turn you up. Check, check, testing. Hello, there I am. How's that? That sounds good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have a point. That's going to help me out. And uh, before I let Matt do his thing here, let's go take a look at, at some sounds. This is the full screen browser, right? The, the instrument browser. We can have our sample instruments spread across as many drives as we'd like. We can put our sample instruments anywhere we want on the computer. And in the full screen browser inside Mach 5, we can have favorites, all right? So if we want to go directly to a sample folder, I've got a power book, right? So I've got my core group of samples on the internal drive of the power book, but then I've got the rest of my sample libraries on a dedicated FireWire drive. That means that if I'm just taking power book somewhere without the FireWire drive, I've got one set of samples, you know, the basic stuff that I need. Now there's four DVDs that ship with Mach 5 version 2, four eight gigabyte DVDs. Let's take a look at the universal disc. This is kind of like the general MIDI library, and then you've got all your basic sounds, like guitars, keyboards, drums, basses, uh, horns, loops. Let's check out some loops. Just a couple of quick examples of some of the loops that are included with Mach 5. And a very subtle thing there, I don't know if you notice it, they're all playing back at the same tempo. They weren't necessarily all recorded at that tempo. They are playing back synchronized to the tempo of my sequence. What was the original tempo of the loop? I don't really care, do I? I care about how that loop is going to sound inside my music. So Mach 5 automatically matches the tempo of loops to my sequence tempo. But my host sequencer in this case is Digital Performer, but it works the same way with other host sequencers. All right, so that's a quick preview off of the uh, the universal disc. Let's take a look at the premium disc. High resolution sounds, surround sound, surround sound orchestra, surround sound drum loops, church, organs, and in the high resolution sounds, 96 kilohertz and 192 kilohertz samples. Now, this was one of your picks, Matt. This is yeah, one I really of your like this, this sample a lot. A lot of key switches in this sample, a lot of layers, uh, of course, 96K. But it's a very mellow sound, it's a rich sound. And it also has a nice part to play a couple of notes in this. Make it bark. Yeah, get that little bit of a top end there. Yep. You can see all the layers of the samples. Actually, let's take a, a closer look there. And you see how we can expand out the key map editor. Heck, let's take up the whole screen. All right, if you're into doing sound design work, you need to work with uh, with key maps and so forth. All right, put, take up the whole screen so you can you can see your work field there. All right, so we've got three levels of zooming in on that key map editor. All right, let's check out another sound. Uh, let's uh, go to, to that third DVD. We have an eight gigabyte DVD that's got one instrument on it. That's the Mach 5 Concert Grand Piano, an 8 gigabyte Concert Grand Piano. You hear a little bit of that, Matt? Sure. A little dry, don't you think? Nice to have it. Well, we've got an effects rack over here. We can put effects anywhere we like in the signal chain inside Mach 5. We can have effects on individual samples, on groups of samples, on instruments, or even the master output. So I've got a, a couple of effects uh, ready to go. Let's uh, take a look at a convolution reverb. All right, this is an IR reverb. Let's turn this on. All right, so we turn the reverb on, and let's see the difference. Space. A convolution reverb, 96 kilohertz pianos, and of course this wonderful acoustic environment to let the sounds in. Right. Now I'm also following the uh, the reverb. I've got an eight band EQ in there. You play a little bit more, Matt. You see, there's a spectrum analyzer. Switching, I'm not doing any switching. How, how do we get from one camera to the other? Actually, I'm glad you asked. Basically, right now in Mach 5 version 2, we've got a number of sounds loaded. And I've set up in advance, in expert mode, the ability to switch between those sounds, what's called key switching. So I, that first road sound, 
the sign for the top C here, and then chromatically I've assigned each sound to a different, a different key. So it's great for performing live. You can just switch the keys and play different sounds quickly. Now, there's an expert mode. There's other ways of doing this also. You've got key switches. You can do different zones. You can also do different velocity layers. So I'm playing louder. I'm getting different samples. So in this case, I'm just doing key switches. You could use controllers, for example, or as well. well. That's right. Now, I think this, this speaks very well to the next sample that we're going to do. Remember, we've got four DVDs of, of sounds that ship with Mach 5. That fourth DVD is actually licensed from the Vienna Symphonic uh, Library. Uh, so we've got eight gigabytes of VSL sounds. And uh, what we're going to audition is a French horn. And uh, you can see that this French horn is called French Horn Ensemble All. And what that means is that we have multiple articulations of the French horn. So not only can we use key switching to switch between different instruments, we could use key switching or these other expert modes, uh, velocity, zones, controllers, and so forth, to switch between different articulations of a single instrument. Right, and in this case, for this particular sample French horn, C is the nice staccato. Great samples in there. Vienna Symphony. And then, of course, they've got a nice legato sample as well. So we've got... Again, lots of players, very playable instruments. 32 gigabytes of included sampled instruments with Mach 5 version 2. But we also mentioned that Mach 5 is capable of opening all sorts of third-party libraries. Let's see an example of that. I have, this is a Roland disc, an S760 sampler, a uh, sample disc that I've, I've got loaded in. Again, no conversion is required. Uh, Mach 5.2 is reading that Roland disc directly. So let's go ahead and choose a, a Roland sample of a Yamaha synthesizer. This is a Yamaha CS80. We hear it. Okay, so that's, that's a Roland sample of a Yamaha. Now let's uh, make it Mach 5 style. And, beef it up a little bit. Sounds good. I'm going to hold down the control key, or if you have a two-button mouse, you can hold down the, the right button. And what you'll do is you'll get a menu, and this menu is going to allow you to create a synth, either organ emulation or raw oscillators. All right, let's go up here. We'll choose a square wave. I'm going to drop it down two octaves. Open up the pulse width a little bit. Uh, let's uh, see what that does to that. Got, so what I've done is I've created a hybrid instrument. I've got a sample of a synthesizer, and then I've got a real oscillator. I can have multiple oscillators. I can layer as many sounds as I like here. Now I'm going to deselect that key layer. Right? The synthesizer is seen as a key layer. I've got the key layers of, of the samples. I've got the key layer of the oscillators. If something is selected and then I go and apply an effect or a filter, then that effect or, or filter is applied to what was selected. So literally, individual samples can have their own filters, their own effects, and so forth. If nothing is selected in the instrument, then when I create a filter, and I'll do that right now, then that filter is going to be global to the entire instrument. Dave, right, so can I ask, these parameters that you're playing with, can you automate those parameters? Full MIDI control, all right, so that means automation. And uh, uh, you can also have parameters to interact with other parameters. Maybe I'd, I'd like uh, one LFO to control another. Phone. We've got six different LFOs, six different envelopes to work with, so we have both internal modulation and external uh, automation. All right, now I've applied a filter. Let's hear that filter. Good. That's a filter. Okay. Uh, and uh, see, before I forget about it, let's take a quick look over the mixer view. It's all about how you want to work. If you're all inside one window, Inside the mixer view, if I want to browse samples here, I can do that. If I want to check my effects section, I can do that. Okay, so different views, different ways of seeing the same, same information. Uh, now, keyboard players get all the fun, right, with a sample. He's got a keyboard, you can play any sound he wants. I'm not a keyboard player. What am I going to get out of Mach 5? Well, I use Mach 5 for sound design. Watch this. I'm going to drag a piece of audio. This is an AIF file. I'm going to drag it into a preset, an empty preset of Mach 5. You can have as many parts of Mach 5 as you like. If you want to load in a 64-piece orchestra, 100 different sounds, you can do that. You can load these sounds in. We have disk streaming, so very efficient use of RAM. 